The China Film Group Corporation is planning an IPO with the sole purpose to have the Chinese film industry gain more than foreign films imported to China. China Film Group has an interesting problem because they are the group that screens film and approves foreign films under the quota system in China. Chinese love the Hollywood movies. In fact, 24 weeks have been counted in the box office year this year by Box Office Mojo. And in China, Hollywood films have been at number one of the weekly box office take in 17 of those 24 weeks. China Film Group is the sole distributor for these Hollywood films, and they determine how much screen time they get and will get a percentage of the box office. So when they approve a movie like Captain America to get four weeks screen time and it spends three weeks at number one on the box office chart and the last week at number two, there is a movie going public that loves Hollywood movies. Even though China Film Group would make more money by allowing a film like that to stay on screens in China, the foreign films are moved out to let domestic films have longer runs. This week, the Chinese government has unveiled a major policy document from several ministries to boost the film industry with tax incentives and a fund to support certain state-approved movies. So in addition to the quotas in place, the content censors that have edited Hollywood releases just to get in the Chinese cinemas, and the limited screen time given the foreign films, China Film Group will now subsidize the film industry that isn't producing what the movie audiences want. China Film Group will issue 467 million new shares at one yuan apiece equal to about 16 cents per share, to raise $740 million in capital to, quote, enhance the overall strength and competitiveness of Chinese films in its Shanghai IPO. The prospectus shows that domestic ticket sales have been growing by 25 percent annually for the past eight years, and ticket revenues at theater chains controlled by China Film grew around 19 percent between 2012 and 2013. The prospectus showed how valuable foreign films are to their own revenue as they posted a 24 percent decline in net profitability, earning less income from importing films.